Let's go to London and speak to the sports journalist Austin Ocon Akpan. Austin, thank you so much indeed for your time. Um, okay, first of all, who do you support in Africa? Bruno B and World World Commander. I'll support Ghana because Ghana stopped Nigeria from qualifying. Okay, now this is really interesting <laughs> because I, I need you to tell us about whether there is such a thing as Pan-African solidarity. Because if you look at, for example, Europe, you know that the English are always going to want the Germans to lose. Actually, the Dutch want the Germans to lose as well. In South America, the Brazilians definitely want the Argentines to lose. The Chileans want the Argentines to lose. What about in Africa? I think in Africa, it's a unified voice, you know, because we we have been fighting for, you know, more slots at the World Cup and Africa hasn't gone beyond, you know, the quarterfinals. So we, we just want to wish Africa well. That's what we do. But for the rivalry, for instance, in West Africa between Nigeria and Ghana, if both teams are at the World Cup, I think Nigerians and Ghanaians, and Ghanaians will come together to support. So Africa is a united front. I don't know about North Africa and West Africa, but at the World Cup, uh, Africans just come together to see if um, they can, you know, go further the competition. Yeah, I, I believe Ghana's squad is the youngest in the World Cup, average age of 24.7, but they mm -hmm. are ranked 61st in the world. So it could be tough yeah. for them. Uh, who are the big hopes for the African continent this year? I think it's okay if we put our hopes on Ghana. They're ranked 61st in the world, but this is the World Cup. We just saw it team Saudi Arabia ranked 51st in the world, beating number three ranked Argentina at the World Cup. Arguably the biggest upset that I've seen at the FIFA World Cup. So Ghana can believe Coach Addo has done a good job in putting together a team that struggled from the AFCON in Cameroon. I think beating Nigeria was good motivation for them to get into the World Cup. And so putting together this team, that most of them have vast good experience in, with, in European football. So Ghana can do something. I also see Morocco as an underdog that can, you know, go all the way because they have invested so much in their football, not just for the men, also for the women. And they can just use that as motivation to do something at this World Cup. Austin, how much of a cliche is it, or is it still a relevant point that needs to be made, that over the past at least 20 years, shall we say, that pretty much most Africans who play for their national team, so the big teams, the ones that are at the World Cup, I mean, these guys are all top, top, top professionals. Are they being held back by their administrators? Is corruption still an issue in the administration of African football? Sure, that's what it is. You know, and infrastructure is a big, big, you know, factor when you're preparing for a big World Cup and, you know, to go out there and do the best. So corruption, uh, poor administration, you know, inept leadership, people who don't really understand football were just there for the money. I'm sure you've seen the documentary FIFA Uncovered. You can see big, big shame, you know, with some of the leaders from Africa. I think by the time we start getting it right, particularly with leadership, Africa can impress at the World Cup. So, yes, you see, they go look for players who have been raised abroad, particularly in Europe, and beg them to come play for the motherland because they have the systems where they are. But we're not doing the same thing back home in Africa. I'm super excited that for this World Cup, we've got all five coaches from Africa. I think it will pose a vital lesson that we've got good coaches, we've got good players, we just lack like good leaders. Austin, thank you so much indeed. I tell you what, we're going to have to have you back on as the World Cup progresses because if there are shocks like the one you've just described about Argentina losing to Saudi Arabia and an African team pulls one of those off, we need you back. Right. Austin, thank you so much indeed for your time.